In today's video, we're going to be doing this problem right here. And it is asking us to find the shortest distance from two points A to B, but it must also touch the x-axis as well as the y-axis. So let's have some general knowledge first. The shortest distance between two points in a 2D plane from point A to B will be a straight line. Let's have a little visual here. If we were to create a path that is kind of like a detour, like this white line right here, visually you can tell that this is a lot longer than our green line here, which is also a straight line. Now let's review the triangle inequality that we should know from geometry. Let's say we have a triangle here with sides x, y, and z. x, side x plus side y, will always be greater than that third side z. Let's look at an extreme triangle here. This triangle is pretty smushed, as you can see. But still, the inequality holds. As you can see, x plus y is longer or greater than that last side. So therefore, we still have a triangle here. Now, let's take a look at a sort of simplified problem, but it's still similar. We have Heron's shortest distance problem. And this problem, is you are given two points, A and B, on one side of a line. Uh, of a line and you are to find C, a point somewhere on this line that will minimize AC plus BC, basically minimizing the distance. So to help us out with this, we can think about Euclid's Law of Reflection. And this basically states it's regarding to light, the reflection of light, that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of the reflection. So that condition will apply here for Heron's shortest distance problem. If you want to achieve the minimum, then the two angles must be equal to each other. So as you can see here, theta 1 is equal to theta 2. And if we were to reflect A, point A, to become A prime, we would have created a new angle here as we have reflected it. And all three of these angles, theta 1, theta 2, and the new angle, they are all equal to each other. So for Heron's shortest distance problem, C is the intersection of B to A prime that minimizes AC plus BC. Now let's take a look at a sort of numerical experiment here. We have our point C, right, somewhere on this line. And the further we are from this point that we think is the minimum, it grows larger, just like so. This is the distance right here. And as you can see, right at that point that we have found, it is truly minimized. So to find that, we can just simply use distance formula, and we will get somewhere around 7.8, and these two values are the same, so we can see that this is indeed our minimum. Now let's take a look at a more conceptual proof. If we were to connect all our lines and reflect them as well, and let's say we have C, point C right here, um, we can see that there's a triangle right here. And based on our triangle inequality from earlier, A prime to C plus B to C is going to be larger, or you can say longer, than A prime to B. And so we know that this distance is longer than this. We can confirm that this line, A prime to B, is our shortest. So AC is equal to A prime to C, and AC plus BC is greater than or equal to a prime to b. So we know that our shortest distance is definitely a prime to b. So now we can use all the information we have just acquired to solve our main problem from the start. Find the shortest distance from a to b, but it has to touch both the x and the y axis. So based on earlier, you might think we have to do a reflection to solve this, and yes, we do. However, based on this constraint right here that it has to touch both axes, we actually have to do two reflections. So let's take a look at the answer now. First, let's reflect A to become A prime right here across the y-axis. However, this only crosses, if you were to draw the straight line, it only crosses one axis. So let's reflect it again to A double prime. Now, as you can see, if we were to draw this line right here, it crosses both axes. Now let's connect the original path without our reflections from B to C, C to this axis point right here, to A. This 
green um, path is the same as b to a double prime. However, this is much easier to find. You can simply use a distance formula. And this is our shortest path. So that is our answer. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.